Welcome back, people. So today we got some jobs scheduled. It is a crappy rainy day in Florida. I'm gonna see if I can make a thousand dollars with old Betsy today. The dump trailer is actually is filled with yard waste and I kind of forgot about that. Oh, well, that's not gonna work, so now I have to take the empty trailer. And two of these jobs are kind of a lot of small debris stuff and if you work in the junk removal business or I'm sure you just imagine, the dump trailer is so clutch when you have debris because you just hit a button when you unload it. But this one, peep this. Oh, don't peep it too long. Got something for the collection. I'll make another video about that soon because it's not finished. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can make, who knows, maybe $1,000 today with the old utility trailer and pickup. Just quoted, drove all the way out here, two employees. Closed the job, but want to do it Friday. So that was just a big waste of time. On to the next. It's debris. When also the first lady, I closed the job, but she didn't want to do it today. So that was just a big waste of time. So revenue on the day is down. Oh, I love that. $29 for 50 count. Woo! Don't worry about that. We got a mop when we finish it. Okay. All right, we're moving a couch and I love seats. <sighs> Spencer's getting the dolly. Definitely gonna have to carry this one. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bit of a squeeze. You're gonna have to carry? Mm -hmm. I just have to get it past the car. Oh, maybe he's got it. All right, couch, love seats, and then we are on to the next. Oh, big guy. New Costco dolly, that's what I'm talking about. Multifold. Yep, just keep pumping it. There's something in front of me. <laughs> The other one here, and they're like 250 now. But that one's sick. Bifold. All right, unload then. Last job, making good time. Ooh. What? Oh yeah, little Callaway action. I got a whole nother bag. I just got a set of pings yesterday, 250 or two, two days ago. All right, man, get to work. Yeah, I'm dumping that. What's your guess? I have no idea. 12.95. I was gonna say like $13. A little 13 smackaroonies. 13.26. Ooh, -hoo. thank you. He was close here. Yeah, I was. What I say? 12.95. 13.26. For the folks that don't believe it, is that focused? Yeah. All right. I need to see if I'm getting ripped off here. <laughs> I'm gonna pay five grand a mile for a dumpster. I don't know if I'm getting ripped or not. I gotta poop real bad. <laughs> this is shit. Not good. Not good. Well. Today really went to shit. Um, first job was some old people that wanted me to quote, cleaning out their garage. And it was like some wood, cans of paint, just some random junk, few bags of concrete, probably like a quarter trailer load. 
and I quoted him. I said, hey, it's probably gonna fall right between these two price points because she still wanted to add some stuff. And I just pointed it into my price sheet, let her know how much I estimated it to be before she added the other items. She said, oh, okay, that sounds great. And I was like, all right, let me get my employee and we can bang this out for you real quick. Oh, she's like, oh, I'm not ready. Uh, I still wanna go through a th few things. I have to pull some stuff out so you guys, I can show you what to take. And I'm thinking in my head, just tell us what to take now. Like, it wasn't like the shelves were jammed with stuff. Like each shelf had like a few items on it and there wasn't even that many shelves. And she's like, ah, oh, I really don't feel like doing that today. Can we just schedule it for another day? And I'm like, I guess. Obviously not like that. <laughs> But I was like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what day do you want to do it? And then we scheduled for Friday. So whatever, I closed the job. Would have been nice if I could have just done right there and then. Next job was the sectional couch you guys saw. We did that for, or it was a love seat and sofa, but I pretty much just priced those as sectional couches because they're the same thing, pretty much. Um, quoted her over the phone and literally asked her if there was a recliner, both recliners, and she didn't mention that, so that was annoying. I probably would have been like an extra 50 bucks if I quoted over the phone if I knew they were both recliners. But that was 225 for the couch and the love seat. And then the last job we went to, you guys just saw, was the two big pieces of, or two big piles of tile. And let me show you the picture this guy sent you. See if it shows them. Can you guys see that? Let me adjust this real quick. Two small piles of tile, right? But uh, no, we get there, the piles are like three feet tall, probably six to 8,000 pounds of tile, all broken up, not bagged. We would have had to bag it or fill the trash can and dump it. I didn't have my dump trailer and I was trying to explain to the guy, I was like, hey, this is not gonna fit in my trailer. Weight wise, like it's gonna, my utility trailer is gonna be overweight. I was like, we can go get my dump trailer and everything and I can do this job for you. But I was like, I'm not gonna be at 350, like I said over the phone from those pictures. And he's like, all right, well, what are you gonna be at? 500 bucks. And he's like, oh no, that's too much. And it uh, just didn't work out. Today's revenue went from probably, if I would've just closed everything and did it right, five, six, seven. It would've been like a thousand dollar a day. Nice, easy, probably five hour day, making a quick thousand dollars, but nope. First person didn't want to schedule same day. Second job was just the sofas and those ended up not even being what I thought they were. So those were a little undercharged. And last job, guy was just being hella cheap and is expecting me to fill a trailer load of tile for $400 and I probably still would have made money on it and I told them I was like hey $500 is still like way cheap uh, Maybe I'll message him and let him know I can do it for 450 tomorrow when I have more time and the dump trailers empty But still that's so cheap and I'm not trying to be the cheap guy Who knows maybe that guy won't find anyone else to do it for the price that I told him because I gave him a fair deal And he still didn't want to do it which I understand it, so it even sounds outrageous as me working in contracting for a long while, my dad would never pay someone $500 to remove that amount of tile. He would just do it himself or rent a dumpster and load it himself. That's today, $225 revenue when it should have been a thousand dollar a day. So sometimes things just don't work out and I still gotta pay Spencer probably 60, 75 bucks. But I just wanna keep it real for you guys. It's not always daisies and sunshine and rainbows out here. Sometimes your thousand dollar days turn into real shitty $225 days. I just want to keep it real and not always post, oh, made a thousand dollars today in four hours, or oh, here's a fifteen thousand dollar month. I feel like posting the real videos when stuff just doesn't work out, even though this isn't that bad. I mean, I've my brakes catching on fire on the new truck like a few weeks ago. That's a good one. That's definitely a worse day than this. Yeah, I'm, I always do this at the end of videos. I'm yapping my head off right now. Let me let you guys go. If you guys could hit that like button, subscribe. I got a lot of stuff coming. I'm gonna do some crazy on the ground marketing, guerrilla marketing, whatever you wanna call it, boots on the ground. I got a new vehicle I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna try to upload more. I got this camera rolling, so hopefully these videos look a little bit better. I'm gonna link my website below if you guys wanna check that out. If you guys wanna look at my website and use it for inspiration, go ahead. Ahead. I know how hard that is to just start on a blank page and try to build a website. I'm not gonna say copy and paste my website. Don't do that because that might screw some things up or you might accidentally start putting text in, on your website that is on my website. Anyways, like I already said, like, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, I always try to answer them when you comment below. So definitely drop a comment. Even if you don't have a question, just drop a comment. It helps the videos out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.